Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I'm the founder of Code of the Future and today we're going to be continuing with the Rust course where I'm teaching you all about Rust for beginners. Before we dive into the tutorial, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to the channel. So that is it, well done, you have finished the Rust course that I've taught on my channel. I've covered pretty much all of the fundamentals to Rust for someone that is starting out in Rust and has never touched the programming language before. Now I will say there are a lot of extra features to Rust that I can show you and I will be doing exactly that. So for those of you that have watched this course all the way through, you'll know that I've referred to the Rust book, so the document that's online that I link in all of my videos. Um, I will be teaching that book. Uh, I'm going to go through each of the chapters and make them a little bit shorter. This programming course was aimed at those that have never touched Rust before, so the idea was that I was going through things step by step. I taught myself Rust and I have programming background, uh, but I appreciate there are some people that may not have the same programming background, so I wanted to make it as easy as possible. And for those of you really quick people that get things straight away, you can just put my videos on two times the speed. I'm sure I sound great. But yeah, so this course has been aimed at those people that have never touched Rust before. I hope for those of you that have followed me along this course, have enjoyed it. Please leave comments, uh, you know, my videos, you know, give them thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. I honestly appreciate it so much. Uh, you know, as I said, I'm going to be releasing some more Rust videos. We're going to be doing some Rust projects uh, and I'm going to be starting a full-time job where I'll be hopefully using Rust as well. So yeah, some pretty fun projects on the way. Now, if you've struggled a little bit with this course, that's okay. Rust is one of the harder programming languages out there. I would say, you know, if you're somebody that's learning, wanting to learn how to code and you've never coded before, then Rust is probably, you know, it's a great programming language, but it's probably not the place to start just because it is quite tough. You know, I, even I struggled uh, at times with Rust and I've done coding for quite a few years now. So don't worry if you found it difficult. Uh, you know, my DMs are always open. I say that, uh, I probably am better to say that my comments are always open. I do have social media, but I don't really check the messages that I get on my social media. I just reply to my comments. Uh, I get quite a few messages. So if you're trying to reach out to me, then just pop a comment uh, in one of my videos. And if I can't answer it, then hopefully some someone else in my little YouTube community can. So as I said, if you have struggled with anything on this course, the, there are documents online, there are resources online that you can find and you know last resort if you need a bit of help then just comment down below hopefully someone else can help you out or i can help you out um but yeah as i said don't worry if you found this slightly challenging it's uh it's a pretty tough programming language but it's also a really fun programming language once you've learned you know the basics which is what i've taught you in this series now as i said i will be stepping through the rust book chapter by chapter and i'm going to do a full series on the entire rust book and that is basically going to be aimed at people that have done this course, they've learned the basics of Rust, they kind of understand uh, Rust to a certain extent and you know or maybe have never learned Rust but are very familiar with programming and the idea behind that is that then you can follow at a quicker pace. I appreciate these videos have been slow at times um, but that's just as I said because I've aimed it at people that have never touched Rust before uh, and may not have the same background. You know, everybody has a different background. Uh, on YouTube. So yeah, uh, that's my plan for the future to release a full guided tutorial series on the entire Rust book online, which I'll link in the description if you fancy checking it out in the meantime. I'm also going to do some projects, like I said, uh, and just have a bit of fun really. I appreciate that my videos on my channel have been heavily Python dominated before. Uh, and don't worry, you know, Python is also going to be coming back on my channel. I want to stretch out a little bit and try to do some other programming languages. But as I said, if I am going to be coding in Python and Rust in my, you know, my full time job, then it makes sense to teach those on this channel. But if you do have any suggestions for video ideas for Rust or Python or even just any other programming language, uh, I, you know, I might teach myself another programming language and teach it on this channel. So we're all well rounded uh, people on Code of the Future's tutorials, I guess. Um, but yeah, so if you have any suggestions, then just comment them down below. I just wanted to finish the tutorial by saying thank you so much if you've made it this far. Um, it's taken me a long time to make these these videos and a lot of hard work and dedication has gone into this course and I just want to say thank you to everyone that has supported my channel and you know liked my videos or just watched them. Uh, it honestly means a lot. Um, you know I don't get anything back from my coding channel really so to just have you know a like uh, is you know really means a lot to me after the effort that, <laughs> that goes into making videos. 
So that has been the Rust course. As I said, there's lots more coming. If you have any questions, comment them down below. But thank you so much for, you know, sticking with this course. I hope you enjoyed Rust as much as I have teaching you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.